So today we're gonna to be checking out a fragrance from Ofna, and this one is Tarathi Blue. This has been getting a little bit of hype. It's been gaining some traction. And so I wanted to go ahead and cover this one because there's a couple fragrances that this one has been rumored to smell similar to or to be a clone of. And so I kind of want to talk about that. One of those fragrances is the almighty Blue de Chanel. Now this would be a really nice opportunity because yeah, there are some other Blue de Chanel fragrance clones out there, but not really too many of them are of the highest quality. So there was kind of a gap in the market there for someone to uh, get in and put out a, a higher quality Blue de Chanel clone. And if any clone brand could do it, I know that Afnan could because they have some amazing stuff. So there's a little bit of speculation there. And also Bulgari Tiger, which is a very prominent grapefruit scent. It came out in 2016. It's part of their more exclusive line. That stuff retails for like $350, so it's much more expensive. Also a great opportunity. So I've had this one for a while, actually the better part of a couple months. Been wearing it on and off, testing it here and there. I think I'm finally ready to go ahead and do a review. It's actually been sitting on the upper shelf right behind me for, again, months at this point. So uh, yeah, we're gonna dive into this one today. I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, what I think it smells similar to, and if I think it's gonna be worth picking up at the end of the day. So let's start off with the most important part, and that is the scent. So, I mean, when you do smell this for the first time, especially on skin, you can kind of get a little bit of the Blue de Chanel comparison, okay? And again, more so on skin, not so much in the air or just from the atomizer. Like if you were to pick this one up, spray it in the air, or just pick it up and just pull the cap off and smell it, you don't really get that as much. But when it's on your skin, it changes substantially. And then from that point on, you do get some of the amber, the grapefruit, and even a little bit of a smoky woodiness like Blue de Chanel has. And so that's kind of where that comparison comes from. And you do pick up on that immediately, pretty much. But as it starts to dry down, it kind of goes in a little bit of a different direction. So it's not, to me, a full-on Blue de Chanel clone. I'll just say that right off the bat right here. I don't think it's really intended to be like Blue de Chanel to a heavy extent because I think if they were trying to do that, they could have done that. Afnan is a clone brand. They've put out a ton of amazing clones. It wouldn't be hard. So what this one does lean in a further direction to is actually the Bulgari that I was talking about. Tiger, the one with a ton of grapefruit. It's what it's all about. Now I don't have a bottle of that unfortunately. I've only sampled it and I've still got my sample uh, here in the in the recording room and I've kind of been sniffing that one and wearing that side by side to this and I've been wearing Blue de Chanel uh, at the same time with all three and kind of testing it that way and so it leans more in that Bulgari direction. At some point I do plan on investing in a full bottle, but after having this one now and kind of coming to that conclusion, I'm kind of content with having this. So what is it all about? Well, it's really all about a nice kind of uh, bright, but also sweet grapefruit accord. That's one thing that's interesting is it's not like a citrus fragrance in the typical fashion of, you know, a summer scent that's straight up grapefruit and that's it, right? Pick one of the more popular grapefruit scents, like most recently, Light Blue Forever. It's nothing like that. It's really quite different, which I think is kind of cool because what they're also using is a good heavy amount of amber, but also a nice bit of a, a cedar wood, a lighter cedar wood, and just some general woods in here. And what that does is it gives it a very refined, masculine, and mature smell. And that's another thing is, um, Blue de Chanel, obviously a blue fragrance, that's what started it, but it's gonna be a little bit more of a mature blue fragrance. This one kind of goes in even more of like a gentlemanly classic direction, much more upscale, and really it doesn't smell like your typical designer scent. Again, taking a look at that prominent citrus note, you may think, oh, this is gonna smell like a lot of other things, but upon testing, it really doesn't. And it wasn't until I really started digging in and I started looking online and seeing it was getting compared to that Bulgarian area that I found my sample and then I'm like oh I'm starting to see that now but aside from that it really didn't remind me of too many other things bits and pieces of blue de Chanel and it does make sense with the grapefruit amber accords that are used heavily but not a full-on clone of that one
So I suppose we will take a look at the note breakdown here. Pretty vague. Up top, we have citruses, okay? In the mid, we have amber and woodsy notes. They don't really specify. Again, this note breakdown isn't too detailed. In the base, we have musk, patchouli, and spices. So you really don't have a whole lot to work with with that. But if we go look at the uh, note breakdown for Bulgari Tiger, it's grapefruit, ambroxan, and woody notes. So you do see some correlation there, mainly with the ambroxan or the amber and just the generalized woody notes. One thing that I also do pick up on prominently here in the Afnan is the patchouli. And that along with the spices or the spicy notes is also giving it a bit more of that mature smell that I really like about this one. Um, again, just spraying it up in the air a second ago that you saw with the great atomizer, I can still smell it. So this is a scent that does hang in the air and it really does fill up a space pretty well, actually impressively well. So we'll touch on price really quickly here. Uh, this is a 90 ml bottle, so pretty good size. You don't need a ton of this. And typically on discounters, you're gonna be looking at 40 to $45, somewhere around in that range. I'll drop a link down below to kind of the best price that you can get this one for. It's gonna be around that price point, which I think is very, very competitive. Again, when you take a look at if this was a blue to Chanel clone, you're sa saving a lot of money there. But then also with the Bulgari, $350, plus shipping and tax, also heavy savings. So no matter which one it's a clone of, you're saving money. Again, leans more in that Bulgari direction. But here's what I do think is interesting is maybe you don't have the Bulgari Tiger, maybe you don't care about that one, but maybe you want, I don't know, a Blue de Chanel somewhat themed scent with a bit more of a mature aspect and ultimately something much more different. I think this could be a great option for you. If you do want to go down a direction of maybe having a, a somewhat blue fragrance themed scent in a different way, this would be a nice option for you. It's got that heavy amber in here, which is going to make it very mass pleasing. The grapefruit citruses come across great and the woods really give it that masculine touch as well. So I think this could be a great substitute for people who are otherwise fed up with blue fragrances and they're just too basic for you but you do kind of want something that's going to be wearable and kind of give you similar results I think this one could do great for that and likewise so could that Bulgari but you're just paying a ton more for that one and you really can't get it discounted so I do think this one has some really unique uses and I think that a lot of you guys would actually benefit from picking this one up even if you have blue to Chanel this is different enough to where it's not redundant even if you have the Bulgari it's very similar, but much more affordable. And you could wear this one every day and burn through the bottle and you're not gonna be out nearly as much money as you would with the Bulgari. I actually been finding myself gravitating towards this one a lot. I was actually wearing it this afternoon uh, before I came down here to record my video, just kind of as a, a last hoorah to see if I picked up on anything else. But really, it's pretty standard, and it's one that I find myself enjoying. You know, I really like the wearing experience of it. It just surrounds you with this nice, pleasant, ambery, woody, uh, kind of sweet aroma. And I think it's really well done. Very pleasant, very easy on the nose, nothing too sharp or anything like that. So I will talk about quality here. It's very good quality. I have had no issues with this one. I haven't had any um, negative remarks about this one either. You know, I've never sprayed it on and then picked up on a bunch of perfumers alcohol or anything like that. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell muddled. It doesn't smell rushed and put together, you know, just all slapped together and like, oh, let's just put this out. I could tell that they at least somewhat took their time on this one. At least it smells that way to me, whether they did or not, I don't know, but it is refined. Uh, it does have a nice blend to it. The notes aren't stumbling over themselves. Everything kind of fits into its own place and is very smooth all the way around from opening to dry down. And performance, everyone's favorite part. Now, again, I need to double check. Eau de Parfum concentration here, so pretty nice solid concentration. And I've been getting a pretty solid eight hours out of this. So um, it, it's not, you know, by today's standards, a beast mode scent, okay? Uh, but for the price, I really can't complain. If you're comparing it to Blue de Chanel from, from a performance standpoint, this is gonna be probably better, significantly better for most of you guys out there. And for the Bulgari, I've gotten around the same, sometimes slightly less on my skin. Again, I'm wearing out of a sample from that one. It is an atomized sample, but whether you wanna argue that affects it or not, I don't know. But I just found for me about the eight hour mark longevity wise, and projection is strong. Not only projection though, but also again, that scent trailability. 
I can still smell this stuff. And I sprayed it up in the air minutes ago at this point. And it's not on me anymore. It was on my hand and I washed my hands earlier. So it's coming from just being suspended in the air, which I find to be pretty impressive, especially with this style of scent. So that's really gonna do it for me. Uh, had it for a while and I'm glad to finally get a video out on it. Do I think it's worth the hype? I think absolutely. And again, depending on what type of hype you know it is, as a Blue de Chanel clone, uh, no, I don't really think it's to that level. It's not a Blue de Chanel clone to me. Inspired somewhat, maybe, but again, more so like Bulgari Tiger. But just in general though, is it worth picking up if you've got $45 laying around? I say absolutely. I think this stuff is very nice. And I know for me, even as we move into the cooler months, I'll probably still continue to wear this one from time to time. It's got that sweetness and that patchouli in the woods to kind of make it hold up in cooler weather also. That's gonna do it for me. I will drop a link down below for you again so you can pick it up. Also posting deals on the community tab every day, multiple times a day, some great stuff going up over there along with cash giveaways and all that stuff. So make sure you get subscribed. We're on the road to 200,000. It's a little ways to go, but hey, we're getting there slowly. And uh, I appreciate you guys supporting the videos and getting subscribed and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.